Hi, welcome back to I2R CNC. This is Sunny, and in today's video, we will be going over a simple toolpath operation using the profile toolpath. The bits we will be working with is a 60 degree V bit, and later on, we will switch it out and be using a quarter inch end mill. Then, V Carve will cover how to import your model, the step by step process to create that toolpath, and then also how to save that profile into your post processor and then onto the CNC machine. Enjoy! So we'll go ahead and create a new file. From here in job size you can see I've already got my work dimension set um, from the previous so I know I'm going with 24 inches on my X and 40 on my Y. The thickness of my material I've already measured that to be 0.46 inches Units of measurement we're working in today is inches, and we're going machining from the top of the material, and our origin is set to the center of our material. From here, I'll import my DXF file I already created, select it, hit open. Now, if it doesn't always appear on your screen, you gotta zoom out a bit, like so, because um, it's not always designed exactly to what your zero zero would be in vcarve so from here i found my graphic i'm just going to select it all as seen here in purple and i'm just going to go over here to the left side under transform objects on the right align click center to material close out and you see it, the middle is lined up with the origin center now i'm going to scale it the X and Y are linked already, so from here, I know that I want my Y to be 38 inches. So that's what I'm going to put here. And then you see the X automatically is going to be 21.06 inches. Now I can zoom all the way back in, and my graphic is already aligned to the center of my material. Next thing to do here is, now we've got our material selected. We're going to create a tool path and the first one I'm going to create is the V bit on a profile tool path. Now the cut depth I'm going to be using is going to be 0.1 inches. So I'll put that here on the right where it says cutting depths. Now the tool I'm going to select under imperial V bit 60 degree. I'm cutting 0.1 as I mentioned and the feed rate I'm using is 2,500 or 100 inches per minute and we're gonna go 30 inches per minute on the plunge. Now we're going to be cutting on the line with my v-carve bit because I want it to squeeze into these little areas in the center of my graphics so that they fit and I'll click cal calculate and before I actually look into this I'm gonna save my profile and I usually save it so that the bit the size of the bit is first, so 60 degree, and I'm going to name it engraving. This reminds me this is what I want when I save my toolpath later. Okay, so let's preview this. I'm going to slow it down a bit so you can actually see the simulation carving out what it would look like on my CNC machine. There are my squares and my designs populating now. Also what I wanted to touch on is notice how before I selected everything on my graphic. You'll see that on the border there will be a outside box that's carved. I actually don't want that right here, right there. You see that? Okay. I don't want that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back out and I'm going to unselect that vector because I'm going to use that later to cut out the piece of my material anyways with my profile. So I don't want to waste time and engrave that and to just waste time. So say I just highlighted it, go back into my profile, I'm going to unselect the outside boundary box and recalculate this toolpath. Now if I reset the preview, you'll notice that outside line is gone. So we'll go in and we're going to create the end mill toolpath now, which is also a profile toolpath using a 0.25 inch end mill. And we're going to cut a depth of 0.125 per pass and we're using a 
RPM of 24,000, and we're going to be machining a little faster since with the end mill for profile and cutouts, I can go a lot faster than I would with a V-bit. So we're gonna use about, let's say 110 inches per minute. Just about 2,794 millimeters per minute. X out of that. And we're gonna wanna make sure we're machining outside right of the machine vector. That way you're not cutting out anything of your original design. And the cut depth we're using, it says 0.47, and we're going to be doing 0.1175 inches per pass. And the number of cuts it's going to take, or passes it's going to take, is going to be four passes. We'll click OK. And for the tabs, I'm going to make my tabs 0 0.09 inches for the thickness and the length. I generally like to keep mine a little thinner just so that I don't have to do too much sanding. So I'll select that. Once you see the little checkbox over it, you know that you, you're good to go to put that in. We'll close out. And then also you can add a ramp if you like to your tool path so that the entry of the slope is not as steep and that'll make your cuts a lot smoother as they enter. Now this warning says, hey, you're gonna cut through your material. Your thickness was 0.46, but you're actually going past that. So that's what I want because I'm doing an overcut. So with the overcut, it's gonna cut through the material to make sure I actually get all the piece out. Now the simulation, you see the tabs there. That's what my final workpiece will look like, which I think I'm happy with. Um, I'm also in the meantime saving right now 0.25 EM for end mill and then cut out. So that will remind me later that this is what I'm using for my end mill when I switch my bit from the 60 degree V bit. Okay. I'm going to save the toolpath. And you see right here, post processor, Mach 23 arcs millimeter. It's a text file that we use for our UCC and C on the I2R lines. Um, on the axioms, you can see on the drop down that there will be a different set of posts. But in general, if you're working with the I2R, UCC and C, this is what post processor will be using. Now, with the two separate tool paths, since they are different tools, we have to save them separately. And this is what I'm going to do. I'll save the 60 degree engrave file first. And then when I'm done cutting that toolpath, I'm going to change my bit out and then load the 0.25 EM cutout into my machine. I've machined my design out on an I2R CNC. And I've also finished it off with a water-based red and black colored wood stainer. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to click that like button and subscribe to our channel. Comment below if you have something you'd like us to do in the future. All feedback is appreciated. Once again, I'm Sonny and thanks for watching. See you next time.